Another week, another vote. 71% of people voted. And can you guess what I'm going to be looking at? Yes, it's these, these gaming headphones. And if you want to be part of that vote, do think about subscribing because every Friday I put out a vote between two products that I'm currently testing and you can vote which one I record a video on that very next week. So hello and welcome along and on today's video I'm going to be testing these, the Havit H2001D gaming headphones. They're in the budget range at around $40 and if you think that price tag is too good to be true, well I'm still trying to find out why you shouldn't be getting these. For $40, I've been hugely impressed with them. And since I got sent these a couple of weeks ago, I've been testing them on various games and I've come away very impressed with the quality for the price. So if you're in the market for a pair of headphones that won't break the bank, sound good, but are also the size of a small car, then look no further. Let's put these down on the tech desk, turn up the lights and join me as we unbox and go through everything you need to know about these, the H2001D gaming headphones from Havit. We're on the tech desk and here we have the headphones here and this is the box it comes in i'm not going to do too much of an unboxing because it's um pretty uneventful if i'm honest it's this it's just a black unassuming box it just says hello thanks for choosing have it on it and that's pretty much it apart from this bit here uh google is telling me that this is japanese writing here and what i'll do is i'll get this translated and i'll put the stats up there for you just to show you the kind of the stats of these headphones Okay, like I said, pretty unassuming unboxing, if I'm honest. When it comes, what you get with it is you get yourself uh, kind of like a very minimal instruction manual that doesn't tell you too much about it. A little bit of uh, do you like it, yes or no, great. And then this kind of the, the splitter for your PC as well. So 3.5 in there and it splits for the 3.5 red and green. So that's what you get inside it. And then here is the headphones itself. So what we're going to do is just going to go over it. I'm going to kind of go over it and the look and the feel of it. And then I'll talk to you about uh, kind of how I think it sounds. And we're also going to do a mic test as well. Okay, so it's a wired pair of headphones and the wire is stuck in there. There's no taking that out, So, but it's terminated quite well. So I don't think there's any chance of it fraying on there, but you know, you're not going to take it out. And then the cable here, if I just keep pulling this up, keep pulling it up, keep pulling it up, keep pulling it up, keep pulling it up. It's a whopper. Okay, so it's two meters 20 long, this cable. And it's about 60 centimeters to this control panel bit here. Now this control panel bit here, what it has is volume. So it's kind of got two dials here, but that's actually one dial. Okay, so you do that to turn it up and down. And then this switch here is the mute. If you go and have a look on the website, I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of this. Um, you'll see that this control panel is actually different to the one that's on the website for some reason. I'm not sure why, um, but this one serves perfectly well. Really easy to get hold of, really easy to do the volume up and down. There's no volumes for the uh, mic and the headset, kind of like the higher the headset, the less of the volume. None of that. It's just simply volume up and down. And this one is a mute switch. I was saying about the um, instruction manual, about it saying uh, being a bit minimal. The... Um, it doesn't actually tell you how to mute it, but it's towards you to kind of mute it and away from you to unmute it. I also wanted to take a couple of seconds just to talk to you about the cable as well. It's a really, really good cable. It's really nice. It's kind of covered in like a material, so it's not like your average rubbery, plasticky cable. It feels fantastic. Okay, so and like I said, two meters 20 long, so a whopper. And then it comes over to here to USB, and 3.5 now with the usb and 3.5 again it's terminated here so that's it if your usb and your 3.5 have to be nearby and the reason it's got usb is for the lights okay so let's quickly stick this in here and then turn it on there we go so it's got some lights so it lights up let's turn it off and on there you go okay see that now with the lights as I was saying before, you've got to have your USB. If you want the lights on, you've got to have your USB pretty much close, this close to your 
3.5 if it's further away it ain't going to use it because you can't pull these apart okay just something to note there and there's lights all the way around here and there's also lights on the mic as well see at the end there two big red leds it's predominantly plastic all the way around but when you open up for the adjusting here there's metal inside there so that's the only real kind of metal bit to it like i said in the introduction it's huge it's a massive headset okay so there's 50 millimeter drivers which really help with the sound quality again i'll talk a bit later about the sound quality but with these pads look at that enormous great pads whopping great pads kind of leatherette they say and they're really comfy they really do a really good job on them sound isolation is pretty good on them when you've got them on you kind of can hear stuff on the outside but not too bad and there's hardly any sound leakage as well so when people were playing with them and stood next to you they won't be able to hear much of your games really because kind of the plastic makes them closed back and then on the headband here again this is lovely this is really really comfy this bit I mean super squishy super comfortable nice red compared to the black so it's kind of like the red black theme which is really nice I like that plastic headband plastic head cups leather at nice big and deep and the red mesh inside it's excellent so really nice really decent well built like I said um, I, th I think this is probably good enough for kids I mean I've got a kid who um, I tried it on my youngest who is nine and he didn't have a problem with these at all they they're huge i mean as you saw in the introduction with my my adult sized head they fitted okay they also fit a child not a problem at all like i say nine year old it wasn't a problem in fact he actually had to have it down because he likes his further down so don't think this is exclusively for adults because like i say it's the size of a house it's it's fine the microphone, it kind of folds, does up and down quite a lot. There's no muting. I know a couple of the, um, the headphones have this really nice feature where you pull it up and it mutes it. It doesn't have that. It's always going to be on unless you're muting it via the, uh, the little uh, control panel here. And it flexes to a certain degree. It's nice and flexy, so it's not going to break, but keeping it out there, yeah. Okay, it's not too bad. So speaking of the mic, um, what I did was I sent myself a message on the ps5 and the voice so what we do is we'll just take out 15 seconds just to listen to what the quality is like listening to this microphone hello this is console and tech accessories this is a microphone test that i'm running via voice chat message sent from a sony playstation 5. the mic is about five centimeters from my mouth and i'm talking at a normal volume how does it sound okay that was it i'll be honest with you i really enjoy it. i haven't had a problem i was doing a lot of um voice chat whilst testing them and I didn't have a problem with them at all. I thought it was really nice, really good. In fact, it probably be a little bit too loud. I had to kind of push it away from my mouth at certain points. It had a really good job of isolating some of the sound as well. It says it's noise cancelling. It was doing a decent job. There was a lot of noise in the background of some of the times while I was playing and it, it held up quite well. So all in all, an, an, an okay mic, it really was. I tested this on the PS5, the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch and it was great on all of them with the nintendo switch you have this so you have to plug this into the switch if you wanted to use the leds as well you kind of have to find a usb if you're going to be using this it's going to be docked so you're going to be sticking it in the dock and then that will reach down to the usb with the ps5 i had this plugged into the controller and also with the ps4 i had a controller and i didn't have it the lit up because i had nowhere to put this into Okay, so in terms of sound quality then, colour me impressed. I'm really impressed with these and the sound quality. With games, I was playing Returnal all weekend uh, on the PS5 and they sounded fantastic. I mean, that helps on the fact that the PS5 it has all the gubbins inside to make the headphones sound great. But these were doing a brilliant job. At one point with the bass, the bass was so good on it, it started to vibrate these headphones and that really added to the experience. I loved it but it wasn't overly bassy, okay? So, so you get some headphones that are like stupid bassy. That's not like that with these. These were decent, nice and controlled bass. The mids were okay. Top ends, I'll be honest with you, they were a little bit muddy on the top end, but that's the hard bits to do. But I'm no audiophile, okay? I am no expert in sound, but I thought these sounded brilliant and they're $40. So like I say, for a kid, if you wanted to give it to one of your kids that you don't mind them throwing around, 
and you don't have to be too precious about a really expensive pair of headphones, then these are fantastic. Again, a gift as well if you know someone who likes a bit of shiny LED, because like my philosophy is there's nothing that can't be improved with some LEDs. They like a bit of LEDs on there, fantastic. And so a PC gamer, they can have it plugged in with the USB, easy. Switch docked, PS4 and PS5 and Xbox, maybe not, not so much because you need to plug it into the controller. But I was really impressed with the sound quality. Obviously, I can't tell you, I can't show you the sound test on camera because there's no point because it would be coming out of here. But you need to trust me, I was really, really impressed. As a casual user on headphones, I mean, like I said, I'm no LDFR. Excellent. So overall then, the build quality, really decent. They've been holding up well. My kids have got these iron arm and these. They're absolutely going to be using these. Um, I've already given it to them, so there's no chance of me having them back. They're nice and comfy for extended play. The microphone is decent, and they're $40 what's not to love i'm really really impressed with these so what i'll do is i'll leave links down below of where you can get hold of them um if you're in the market for a budget pair of headphones that look pretty decent then go on and have a look at these so there we have it the hugely impressive have it h2001d gaming headphones for me there are no major downsides to these with only a few small quirks that i feel like i had to mention for $40, you cannot go wrong. Maybe as a gift for someone or for your kids when you don't want them throwing down a $250 pair of Steel Series in a fit of rage after coming second in Fortnite. So for me, well worth the price tag and a decent pair of headphones. Please do let me know your thoughts on them in the comments below. Do subscribe and be part of my weekly vote. Until the next video, I've been Console and Tech Accessories. Bye bye.